today we'll be making a di we'll be making a crop top. It is a DIY and it's really easy to make. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I want you to need is a tight t-shirt. And you might want to try it on to make sure it's tight. Be right back with that try it on. So I just found this shirt. I think it's really cute with this. But I will be cutting this part off. So, yeah. Um, anyway, then you're going to need scissors. Make sure it's tight. Or loose if you want it loose. And you're going to need markers. So first thing you want to do is go like this. It's not where you want your crop top to be. And then draw a line here. So after you did that, you're going to be cutting. So first, you want to have an extra shirt to put on after. Be right back with a new shirt on. Okay, I have a new shirt, my old shirt on, I should say. And now I'm just going to take this shirt and make sure I have it here. And I'm going to kind of make sure that I know where it is. That's the front. This is the front. Sorry. But... Now I'm and I thought, just looking for it. And I found it. And now, and first of all, I have these like things outside because it came like that. I'm gonna cut those off. Don't make sure it's not too close, or else you cut your shirt, and, and you'll have a hole in your crotch. So I cut one side off. Now I'm gonna cut the other one off. So if you guys have like this kind of shirt, you might want to do this. Like that. And now I gotta find that mark again. And I found it, and I'm just gonna cut right above it. So this is gonna take me a while to cut, so I'll be right back with this cut. Okay guys, so I just finished cutting it. Here's the part that I'm not using. You can use it for something. But here's my top. That. And I think it's that. Now you're gonna like pull it at the end. Pull it too hard that it gets like stretched out. Pull it to make it look more professional. So after you did that, if you have this part, you don't want it, and I am, you can cut it off. And that's what I am doing. So I'll be right back with this. So now I'm going to keep it. And I don't want sleeves. So I'm just going to cut those sleeves off. So if you don't know how to do that yet. You just find that lining, and you just cut along it. Be right back with both sleeves done. Whatever you do, do not use regular scissors. It takes forever. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I just dropped it. Okay. Anyway, so I just cut off my sleeves, and I made them kind of big because it's kind of cool, I think. I'm just gonna kind of pull both and go like that to make it look more professional. So probably if you iron your shirts, it's gonna get better. So don't worry, really. But yeah, so I'm gonna go try this on and see if I want to cut this part off. So be right back. Okay, guys. So I made it, and I don't like how the back came out. So, I'm going to kind of try to tie that up back like that. Um, that. And so, I'll be kind of right back with the front and the back done. So, I'm using this to make a little string. Okay, guys. So, this is my final result. So, it's awesome, I think. Crop top. 
Right anyway, so please give me a thumbs up to this video. And the reason I was gone because I didn't like how it was just hanging loose in the back. So I tied it up with a piece of string in the back. So now it looks like this. Anyway, well, hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other ones. And hope you guys do this DIY. It's really fun. It's really good for the summer. And yeah. Bye.